Hello Southway and welcome to today's quiz. There are three rounds for you today on this nature quiz. The first is guess the name of the animal. The second is which is the odd one out. And the third is a close up round. I hope you enjoy. So the first round is called unusual animals. There is going to be an animal on the screen and you need to guess what its name is. I've given you three choices. So the first one you can see the picture of. Do you think it is the pink fairy armadillo, the pink shell armadillo, or the furry armadillo? Which one do you think it is? Right, and on to the second one. Do you think this is the silver deer, the fanged deer, or the tufted deer? And the third one, what am I? Am I a big-eyed climber, an eye eye, or a bush baby? Okay, is this creature a maned wolf, a savanna fox, or a tall-legged wolf? Which one is it, do you think? The next one is a sea creature. Is it a little octopus? Is it a Dumbo octopus, or is it an orange jellyfish? What do you think it is? Right, this next one, is it an Irrawaddy dolphin, a short-nosed dolphin, or a silver short fin? Right, and this tall creature, is it a long-legged Serengeti red, a Tanzanian red gazelle, or a Geronuk? Right, and the next one, is it a dugon, a hoover mouth, or a sand walrus? Which one do you think it is? And the next unusual creature, is it a star-nosed mole, a dunnier mole, or a spiked-nosed mole? Right, and this next one, is it a feather duster crab, a yeti crab, or a very woolly crab. And the next unusual creature, is it a blobfish, a bubblefish, or a wide mouth fish? And the last one for this round, is it a Cantor's large forgotten shell turtle, a Cantor's big flat shell turtle, or a Cantor's giant soft shelled turtle? Which one do you think it is? Okay, so let's go through the answers. So the first one, it is called the pink fairy armadillo. It obviously doesn't have wings and it can't cast spells like a real fairy, but it does have a rosy shell that acts like a radiator. By pumping blood in and out of it, the armadillo can raise or lower its core temperature. And the second one is called the tufted deer. The male tufted deer do not actually have antlers and instead they have these frightening fangs that come during the breeding season. They are actually tusk-like teeth that they use to fight, to fight other males. And the third one is an eye eye. Eye eyes can only be found on the island of Madagascar. The next one is called the maned wolf. And actually it looks like a fox. It's called a wolf, but is not closely related to either of those actually. The next one is a type of Dumbo octopus. And Dumbo octopuses live in the deep open ocean down to depth of at least 13,100 feet, making this group the deepest living of all known octopuses. 
And the next one is the Irrawaddy dolphin. They are found in South and Southeast Asia. It's actually regarded as sacred to some groups of people as well. The next one is the Gerenuk. It is actually also known as the giraffe gazelle. It is long-necked, as you can see, it's a long-necked antelope and it is found in the Horn of Africa and the drier parts of East Africa as well. And the next one is not called a hoovermouth. It is a dugon. They are actually related to manatees and they're similar in appearance and behaviour. They can actually stay underwater for six minutes before surfacing and they're actually related to the elephant as well. The next one is the star-nosed mole. I wonder how many of you got that one. It's actually the world's fastest eater. It can find and gobble down an insect or a worm in a quarter of a second. And the next one, it is not the feather duster crab, it is a yeti crab. It's actually blind, it has no eyes, and it is a marine creature that lives near the thermal vents in the ocean floor, which is where hot water gushes into the sea. And the next one is the blobfish. It bumbles along the bottom of the ocean, thousands of feet beneath the waves. And the last one is the Cantor giant soft shell turtle. It is actually the biggest turtle known to man. And it spends 95% of its life buried in the sand or the mud. It just lies there motionless. And during this time, only its mouth and its eyes remain exposed. Normally, it only emerges twice per day, including to attack its prey. Right, I don't know if you can see, but we've got our own wildlife here for the second part of the quiz. Simba has come to join us. And on to round two, which is called Wildlife Odd One Out. I'm going to show you a habitat and four different animals. You need to tell me which animal does not live in that habitat. So which of these four animals would you not find on the dusty savanna in Botswana? Do you think it's a zebra, a honey badger, a hippo, or a black panther? Which one would you not find in the savanna? Question two. So this time you've got four sea creatures. Which creature would you not find in the warm waters of the Great Barrier Reef? The clownfish? the turtle, the beluga whale, or the blue tang. So this time you're looking to find out which of these creatures would find the Antarctic far too cold. Do you think it's the rock ptarmigan, the emperor penguin, the krill, or the leopard seal? Okay, this time we're looking at the Galapagos Islands. In year six, we looked at the Galapagos Islands when we studied evolution. So, the Galapagos Islands are a tiny closed ecosystem. Which creature do you think is out of place here, looking at the picture of the habitat? Is it the flightless cormorant, the marine iguana, the giant tortoise, or the golden eagle? And lastly, the Amazon rainforest this time. So there are plenty of fearsome beasts in the Amazon rainforest. But which of these animals would you least expect to see there? Would it be the vampire bat, the alligator, the puma or the three-toed sloth? What do you think? Okay, okay so round two answers. Question one. The odd one out was the black panther. You would be hard pressed to find a black panther on the African plains. For one thing, it would really stand out. All the other creatures are perfectly camouflaged for their environment. If you're lucky, you might see this cat's cousin, the black leopard, on the slopes of Kenyan mountains, however. 
question two. You may have found this easy if you were a Finding Nemo fan. The beluga whale is only found in Arctic waters around North America, Russia and Greenland. So that is the odd one out. The next odd one out was the rock ptarmigan. So don't be fooled by its feathers feet. It wouldn't be at home in the Antarctic. It can be found in Canada, Greenland or even in Scotland, but not at the South Pole. This was a bit of a tricky one. There are so many strange and wonderful creatures in the Galapagos Island, but the golden eagle is not one of them. And this one might catch you out. It was actually alligators. While there's lots of crocodiles in the rainforest, alligators are only found in two places on the earth, in the south of the US and in China. Okay, and this time it's called round three close up. So I'm gonna show you a close up of a part of an animal. Can you use it to identify the animal that is there? So question one, have a good look at this skin. Which animal do you think this colorful skin belongs to? Is it a python, a chameleon, an alligator, or a Komodo dragon? Number two, we've got a spiky looking animal this time. Do we think it's a pangolin, a lizard, a snake, or a crocodile? So can you guess which animal wears these polka dots? Do you think it's a meerkat, a hyena, a falcon, or an ocelot? This time, what creature uses these brilliant wings? Do you think it's a dragonfly, a butterfly, or a wasp? This time we've got a big cat. So which big cat has this distinctive spotted fur? Is it a bobcat, a jaguar, a cheetah, or a lion? And a very colourful creature this time. There are which animal sports these colours? Is it an angelfish? a bird of paradise, a rainbow trout, or a peacock. Which bird do you think shows off these beautiful green feathers? Is it a cockatoo, a toucan, or a parakeet? This time we've got some wispy orange hairs close up. Which species do you think they belong to? Is it a camel, an orangutan, a tarantula, or a naked mole rat. This next picture looks reptilian, but what is it? Is it an elephant, a rhinoceros, a beaver, or an armadillo? This next one is very symmetrical. What kind of creature has this unusual symmetrical pattern on it? Is it a crab, a snail, a turtle, or a moth? So round three. So let's see how many animals you managed to get right by identifying the close-up. Right, to start us off is the chameleon. Hopefully you managed to get this one by its varied colours. This spiky creature is a lizard. The next one, I thought it was some kind of cat, but actually it was the American kestrel, which is a type of falcon. So this one was actually a blue morpho butterfly. It did look like it could have been a dragonfly, however. And the big cat, of course, was a cheetah. And I'm sure you got this one right. Those beautiful colours belonged to a peacock. And of course, those beautiful green feathers belonged to a parakeet. And this was a little bit of a tricky one again. Those wispy orange hairs actually belong to a tarantula. I wonder if any of you managed to get this because I didn't get this one. It is the tail of a beaver. Right, this symmetrical one was slightly tricky. It's actually the underneath of a turtle. 
hope you've enjoyed doing this nature quiz with me today. Were there any animals that you hadn't heard of before? If so, maybe you could do some research about one of them. I would love to see what you discover.